is Kelly with the way we go 2.0 and Kathy's over there. Last week there were significant storms in I think uh, Missouri and uh, one of the comments on a uh, full-time RV uh, site was gee I wish I'd had a good weather radio. Um, a lot of people nowadays use their cell phones to um, you know take care of weather alerts and things like that. But uh, we've got uh, the Midland uh, weather radio model, I think Z100 or something, just the basic one you get at Walmart and grocery stores and stuff like that. But where we are now is in a valley and it's near a military base and it has poor weather radio reception. Uh, you know, we're in an airstream made out of aluminum, surrounded by metal, and it's just too much for the little antenna on the basic antenna on the radio to handle. So what we did was purchase this Midland glass mount VHF weather antenna. I think it's about 20 something bucks from Midland. It's a uh, OEM part, so it belongs, it's, it will fit. So the concept is that, uh, remember the old cell phone uh, antennas that uh, connect to the, uh, connected to the glass, the little uh, spiral wire antenna? <clears throat> they're connected to your your glass of your car and uh, there was a little uh, box inside that ran and then you know your car was uh, wired in for cell same concept here uh, it's got a uh, the base of the antenna uh, gets mounted on the uh, window of whatever you're going to mount it to in this case the outside of the airstream with a 3m uh, uh, backing and then on the inside there is a the cube here with um, 3M backing as well and that's what uh, the cable goes to so it should be a pretty quick install but it's going to take you through it. There are seven weather radio channels and uh, usually of those seven you'll be able to pick up a decent weather signal that sets off the alarm. You can set it for warnings and things like that. Thunderstorm warnings, uh, 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 cold weather warnings or winter winter weather warnings I guess you call them. I'm in Alabama we don't have any of those but anyway so um, but we want to be able to get that stuff, especially as we head north and west, and really just anywhere uh, for uh, unsuspected weather, in case we can't get any local radio or local uh, television stations or anything like that. Hopefully this will fill in the blanks for us. So, let's go set it up. Okay, I just want to make sure I did give credit where credit was due. This is the weather antenna we used. It's the Midland Glass Mount VHF weather antenna model 18-259W. Model 18-259W is off the Midland website. Receives all NOAA weather channels installation that could probably save our life. One day, one night, we relied on them back when we were home in Alabama. And uh, we're gonna rely on them here. You know, again, traveling into an area you don't know, you may not know the local channels, you may not be able to pick them up, you may not have cell service for the weather channel or whatever uh, on your radio and things like that. You really need to get you one of these weather radios and get one of these antennas uh, you know, you'll be glad you did. You know, only if, if you RV for 50 years and you only need it once, it's worth it. Do the math. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is decide where you want it to be uh, in your uh, RV or, or wherever you're going to put it. Uh, of course, this can also go for uh, permanently structured places, uh, hunting sheds and things like that, uh, what have you, boathouses or whatever. Uh, kind of remote areas, but anyway, this one's gonna be next to my uh, next to the bed on my side. Little shelf we got there. I got power down here, close to it, and uh, we're gonna be putting it on uh, the window outside, uh, right there. I would put it in this window, but the awning is here, and uh, so really, even with this one, it's gonna be right in this corner here because uh, on our airstream we've got some outer area that uh, is covered by uh, plexiglass. So let's go ahead and get that knocked out. And, uh, you know, for better and for worse, you're going to be going through this with us, uh, with me, uh, because um, this will be out of the uh, package installation, so you'll see what I see, good, bad, and ugly. And trust me, you're probably going to see all three. Also, this is the first one, this is the first video I've done in a long time using the uh, GoPro Grip and my GoPro 5 Hero, the GoPro uh, grip, uh, I don't know if you know it or not, but you're being bounced around a lot, is a uh, uh, stabilizer thing. Anyway, so uh, we're going to be using it. 
Okay, well, let's go find us a place to install this puppy. Here, let's see. All right, so on the Airstream, you can see you've got this outside exterior plexiglass here that protects the actual glass. And on the inside there, you can probably see the rivets. In here, the actual glass frame. So I'm going to try to install this without having to open the uh, plexiglass, which is not impossible, but it's just a pain in the neck. But this here is why I couldn't put it in the bedroom door or window right there on the side because uh, the awning is above it. And uh, so I think we're going to go with this area here and uh, get it knocked out. So here we go. Okay, so what I've decided is I'm going to go ahead and, and open up the, uh, uh, the cover here on the Airstream. Uh, I can get it in there, but I am going to have to clean the glass with alcohol to get it, uh, you know, so that the 3M tape sticks good. So I uh, decided to go ahead and take, this, take the screws out, open this up, so you can see that process too. You'll think that you're unscrewing it. It's about a quarter inch rubber gasket here. You'll think you're unscrewing it, but maybe the rubber will stick, maybe it'll hold. These are actually not even necessarily screws, they're more of a, kind of a twist, there's a knot here. Uh, but I'll try to see the camera real quick. And I think and I'll uh, zoom in here. If you can see, this is really not even a screw per se. It's actually just a notch, so you don't have to screw on it, you just have to twist it a time. And these little uh, rubber gaskets here, like I said, are about a about a quarter inch thick. But you get them in there and sometimes this rubber will stick if you've not done it often. And you'll just be twisting and pulling and screwing. This came off um, pretty easily actually. But you can also see another reason we're getting in here. It's debris. And debris will rot and it will have an effect on the rubber gasket there. So uh, I'm glad, very glad we decided to do this. So I'll definitely be doing the other side, getting all this junk out of here. I'm not gonna videotape because I know you got better things to do with your life, but uh, you can also see even on the Airstream itself, it's gotten down in here on the, uh, on the metal, the window frame. So we'll be definitely, definitely be cleaning that out. So anyway, Back to my uh, videographer. Kathy is here. She's just uh, working beside, behind the scenes in production. Say hello, Kathy. <laughs> All right. Anyways, we'll take care of the cleaning part later. That'll be a different story. Okay, so this is where I'm going to mount it right here. It being the antenna, the old school cell phone antenna mount type thing. And again, I told you this is an uh, this is an unpackaging. Uh, literally so we're gonna go over here it just doesn't uh, well, I'm gonna close it because I'm, just, I'm gonna get banged in the head regardless and the neighbors will laugh <clears throat> so literally gonna unpackage this with you guys today maybe <laughs> kind of pretty heavy-duty packaging actually so, so we've got the antenna Again, the old cell phone uh, type stick, 3M tape will stick to the outside. The little trans, not outside of the plexiglass, by the way. The outside of the, the glass on the inside there. And then this uh, little box here will be able to broadcast through the glass to it. As long as it's within, I think, a quarter inch or less, it'll transmit through the glass. That way you don't have to drill through the metal or glass or anything else. Certainly don't want to drill any more holes in your RV or whatever uh, that, you, that you don't want to. Of course, the cable, plenty of cable, and it does also have an alcohol pad, which I was afraid I would not be able to find. The base here will adjust a little bit if you need to. So, regular Phillips head screw. Uh, you, that way, you can adjust the antenna in and out. But this way, I've got a nice little area I can work with. And uh, speaking of uh, microfiber, I was using this the other day, so I will use this. This 3M tape is heavy duty stuff. It will, uh, I won't say it'll stick to anything and everything, but 
certainly close enough. So I'm going to pretend mount it here. And this is the way it'll be. And my uh, primary objective uh, is to the shears get it above kind of the roof line, really. Uh, you know, we're not helm operators here, so it's not going to be anything like that. But uh, you want to get it above the roof line. Wait, move it over further? Well, you cleaned that area on the well, right I side. Cleaned, I did not. I cleaned over to here. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I told you guys, this is an, an unpacking, so you're going to see the good, bad, and the ugly. Uh, debate is always good. A second set of eyeballs. In fact, this is bent a little bit. And this is really kind of flimsy. And I think it's a good thing because if it does hit a tree limb or something, uh, of course, you don't want to do that anyway from your air conditioning. But if it were to hit something, it's pretty easily straightened back out. So I'm going to put it there, I think, only because when I close this, let's see, close this, yeah, I'm going to have a little space there that will allow it to come up through the... Uh, you don't think you need to lower it because it looks like the bulk, the big part of that's going to hit the rubber seal? No, we're good. The rubber comes right across about right here. I'm talking about the rubber gasket hitting this down here, the hinge, the antenna, and I think it's going to be okay. I think we'll be good. I'm going to go ahead and mount this. All right, get as vertical as we can, going to eyeball it, get it kind of back out of the way like it was, right up next to the frame there. And, okay, so we're in there. So let me get the check. Look at that. We'll grab the camera real quick. It is perfectly aligned in there. Uh, it leans into the wind just a little bit, which will be okay by me because we're not going to be using it as we drive anyway. Uh, but that way any wind resistance. So I've got it leaned over just a little bit. So I think so far so good on the antenna installation. I'm just going to run inside, get the uh, inside receiver the transmitter uh, set up, connected to the back of the weather radio. I think we'll be good to go. We'll test it out. See you inside. Okay, so we're inside. Um, this is opposite of where I was out there. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get the curtains pulled back. And there we go. By the book, by the boom. Right there we want it to be. We got a little separation. All is good. Uh, it is a little crusty and dusty, so I did bring a paper towel. Kind of wipe this a little bit. All right, so get your. Uh, I did actually look at the uh, instructions. It is called the coupling box. The inside little box here is not the transceiver. It's called the coupling box. Okay, so this is, as you can see, hold on. Turn the volume down. This is, as you can see, just the basic weather radio. You get from Walmart, uh, Walgreens, or anybody else. It is a uh, Midland model WR120EZ. Uh, just the basic stuff. I think maybe 30 bucks. I think. So I'm on the weather channels, and as you'll hear, there are seven of them. But that's for channel one, two, three, four, eight. all right. I've got a decent reception there, but it's probably because I'm holding it. And that was channel five. So going to remember channel 5 is probably our strongest because it used me basically as it's, the radio did as it's antenna. So we're going to get the antenna cable here uh, as a little coaxial. Uh, I think it's a co coax to RCA is what it's called. Get this out because I don't really want to undo all this if I don't have to. So I'm only going to unwind what is absolutely necessary and that will help me keep things out of sight and out of mind. I'll just take this bundle and stick it somewhere. Just like your uh, cable TV channel at home, sort of. It's a little bit different, but generally the same concept. You put it in there, you connect it, you tighten it up, get a finger tight. Now remember, in an RV, it's going to bounce around, it's going to shake, rattle, and roll. So just every now and then, once a month, just check it. Make sure it hasn't come undone. Probably won't. You can get some Loctite, I think it's called in there, or Loc, uh, whatever. Lock it in if you, if you want to do that. 
Um, so I'm going to mount this about right here, probably on our window sill. If you close the curtain, it'll just lay on the curtain. Yeah. Well, I've got to bundle it back up. So actually, uh, if you'll pause for a second, I've got to go get a, uh, a bread tie. Okay. So I, I highly recommend you keep bread ties, just a regular twist tie, whatever you want to call them. Anytime you get any electronic equipment or anything like that that comes through, hang on to these because you just never know when you're going to need them. It's always good for bundling wires that seem to inevitably get in the way. So I'm going to do something like this, try to bring it down like that, maybe a little bit more actually because I want the uh, radio out of sight but not out of mind in that regard. So I'm going to use it there. Get my Red tie, twist tie, whatever you want to call it. You can also use zip ties, a little black zip tie would be fine. So I'm going to mount that there, pull the curtain around, and uh, finagle the curtain a little bit here. I may have to adjust that. Hang on just a second. Let's hold that thought. Because of the pleats, the curtain has uh, certain areas where it wants to cooperate a little more than others. I'm going to do something about like that. Just pull it down between the pleats there. I think that'll do good. I might bring it over actually one more. This is again, I want this radio as far out of my way as possible. So I'm going to bring it over several more actually. Get that radio tucked in the corner. Get my curtain back in place. Got that there. Snap this one back up top here. Everybody's curtain blind configuration is going to be a little different, so you can obviously work at it whichever way is better for you. All right, at the back of it has the external antenna mount here um, and a couple of other things. But this is the one we're going to go with here, the RCA cable mount. A cable plug, plug it in there. And this one doesn't screw, but it's got a little grip there to twist it. Give it a little tug. Check the channels. Language, and then we're going to set channel. Partly cloudy with a 20% look at that. Showers and thunderstorms. That's channel five. Highs in the upper 80s. Four, three, two. Channel one is pretty good. So I've got channel five is perfect. Channel five is good. It's local, it's saying in my, I'm in Montgomery County, which is true. Channel 5 is the one I'm going to go with, and so going to select Channel 5, so we're good on Channel 5. Channel 1 was probably okay, I'd probably be able to get uh, uh, storm alerts from that as well. And that's it. We'll tab a Velcro just to keep in place when we drive so it doesn't go crazy. Uh, Kathy's going to probably like it because it's out of sight and out of mind. And uh, the antenna's outside, works like a champ. Uh, so do have to go outside and clean that windowsill. That was a little embarrassing, but uh, anyway, that's it. Um, it took me having absolutely no idea what I was gonna do, uh, stumbling through it. So a grand total of probably 10 minutes to physically do this, if that. And most of that was gaining access and cleaning the window. So uh, highly recommended. It. It's the Midland um, uh, Weather Radio. Highly recommend it. Good piece of equipment. Stay safe. It's Kelly. Kathy. We will catch, catch you down, down the road. road.